Okay, so this is a typical probe used for thickness checking um, or looking for corrosion in the oil and gas sort of environment. So what we're going to do today, we're going to use this UT set and we're going to scan the area between these two lines uh, and see if we've got any corrosion in there. So um, this is from the back wall of the plate. So we'll just uh, quickly scan this plate, monitoring our back wall as we go. Uh, and all is pretty good and we didn't find anything. What did we? So now we come over to this instrument and now we've got a 32 element dual matrix phased array probe. So it's got 32 sending and 32 receiving. Similar to this um, twin send receive sort of probe, but it's an array with 32. So we stick it on the plate and we can see this red line here is from our back wall. And then we'll, we'll come down the plate and see what happens. Oh, looks like there's a corrosion pit that we didn't see last time. Whoops, looks like there's another one. Oh, that's pretty bad. That one's nearly all the way through. It looks like this one's got about a mil left out of the sort of 18 mil of this plate. And then we're back to good material. So how can we miss them with this set and we found them with this set? Well, I'll flip it over and you can see. What is actually going on is these pits are domes. They've not got flat bottoms to them. So the ultrasound is reflected away um with the standard setup and this is typically what happens with corrosion corrosion doesn't give you a flat bottom so you get a nice response from your probe it's this this domed effect where uh, the sound is reflected away so um yeah it's pretty um amazing the difference you get between the the phased array probe uh, and, and the standard sort of um zero degree CD510 probe. 